everybody, this is Andres from Catatone and Jonas. Uh, we just completed a new album, it's uh, ready to be released November 2nd, and uh, yeah, we put our lives down to in the making of it, so this one's for you guys. Here is uh, an excellent album by uh, the band Fields of Nephilim, who's been an uh, important act for uh, Catatonia throughout the years. Uh, this is their um, Elysium record, which is our favorite album from Fields of the Nephilim. And um, <clears throat> we were writing a song on the new album. Uh, it's called Nephilim because uh, we thought it uh, uh, it has some of the old Catatonia in it, uh, the kind of style that we uh, had in the beginning of the band. And then we wanted to uh, pay tribute to those times, and that's when we started listening to this band, uh, as well as other bands that were not particularly metal bands. This is Red House Painters, and it's uh, essentially one of our biggest influences uh, of all time for the band. One song on the new album is called Idle Blood, and it had a working title called Koselek, which is the uh, main man in this band. And uh, as you can tell, it has a lot of uh, uh, sounds you probably wouldn't think is obvious for Catatonia. We're going the, the whole way with acoustic guitars, uh, mellotron, strings, uh, Fender Rhodes, piano, and just really digging deep into you know alternative music styles. Uh, even going as far as back into the 70s. So, uh, Idle Blood really represents a huge deal of inspiration from Red House Painters. This is another very important influence for Catatonia overall. It's uh, Jeff Buckley. This is supposed to be the Grace album, which uh, is a fantastic record. Uh, it, uh, opened up uh, even new, even more new territories to us uh, when we uh, eventually started doing the clean vocals and, and trying to get inspiration from that and you couldn't have, you couldn't have better inspiration than this man, uh, one of the top three singers of all time in my book, so perfect album as well. Out of all the influences we have, there is one band that we just can't leave out. Uh, probably the most important band uh, of all of them, I dare to say, and that's uh, The Cure. Uh, particularly their Disintegration album has meant a lot. This is the Pornography album, that's also you know one of the top three albums they made. Um, I can't stress enough how important they've been to the band, even back since we started on the first album. I think we even have stolen riffs on that album from this band. And that's something that, you know, the extreme metal audience probably didn't have a clue about. So, there you are. And uh, we will always be influenced by this band. It's a huge inspiration. You can hear it throughout the entire new album as well. It's just never-ending source of good music, you know. Uh, so, The Cure. Okay, so here's another album that's been really important for us, uh, uh, especially uh, the last few years. Uh, this is David Sylvian, Secrets of the Beehive. Excellent album and uh, very important one to, to show us how you can uh, work with uh, textures to uh, enhance the music. I think uh, on the new album is it's uh, the song Inheritance. Uh, has been drawing a lot of inspiration from, from this man, David Silver. Okay people, so we have a new album coming out called Night is the New Day, but we also uh, have a, one unreleased album that you guys probably missed. It's called uh, Dead from the Waist Down with uh, Catatonic.